Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another quick transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and I just, I'm doing a follow-up on the CIY Asura, 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 Advanced Tactile. Um, don't ask me what Advanced Tactile means, I'm not quite sure, I've read a couple of different descriptions but I'll leave it to other people to decide, but um, KP Republic had sent me out uh, batches of like five switches of different switches that they had and this was one of the more interesting switches that I got. Uh, now CIY a lot of us will know them for their keyboards. They, they're the ones that came out with the Tester 68. Um, they have quite a number of keyboards. Now they have the Novice series which are actually USB C and um, powered as well with RGB so they have definitely been improving their game uh, I previously though had only seen one other switch from them which was the CIY Evo Red and it was a decent linear switch nothing to write home about but when I got a hold of this one I was uh, I was honestly quite surprised so this is a three pin uh, pre-lubricated switch it is made up of a PC top housing, a 21 millimeter spring that has an operating force of 50 grams plus or minus. Uh, we have a POK, POK POC stem um, and we have a nylon, nylon bottom housing. Uh, now the total travel on this is 3.3 millimeters so it is a long pole stem. Um, they are factory lubricated and they're just a, um, they're almost a heavy tactile. They're kind of like in the medium to heavy tactile, but I've got to say, I, I reached back out to KP Republic and I was like, I'd really like an entire batch of these to go ahead and try out. And I am very satisfied with these and they run only 20 cents a switch. So you can get a a bag of 110 switches for $22. Uh, as far as a tactile goes, that is medium heavy, ready to go out of the bag to load up. And it's actually, uh, if you have Milmax boards or older Otemu uh, style sockets, they're going to fit in there as well. No having to clip anything off. Um, at 20 cents a switch, this is a. Uh, it's a very interesting tactile. I honestly, despite it having a PC top housing, I've got to say I think it's a little bit deeper and a little bit nicer than the Princess tactile. I know. Don't get mad at me. That's just how I feel about it. It's only my opinion. Um, I have been a big fan of the Princess tactile. I have a few batches of them i've loaded up on many keyboards and i still like it but it tends to lean more towards the clacky side which sometimes i like clacky builds clacky builds can be fun but in this situation uh this one delivers a, a deeper tone though at the same time it has that glass on marble type feel so anyway i have loaded them up onto this mod 007 which I have replaced the uh, the PCB with a flex cut, a per key flex cut PCB, and I also added uh, a layer of LDPE plastic as well as PET plastic. And um, I'll have another video on that, or actually should already be online for what I did with this one. Now, um, on that sound test, I had some OEM Nautilus keycaps, and I was positive that I had a set of Cherry Nautilus keycaps, especially since those other ones were missing a few keys. So I found the Cherry uh, Nautilus keycaps. I hadn't I hadn't even opened them. Like the seal was still on it. So I had to open them up. I loaded them up. I'm going to go ahead and do a sound test with these As As Asuda. I want to say it's Asuda. Advanced tactile switches again um, thanks goes out to KP Republic for sending these out uh, for me to test if you're looking for an interesting tactile you don't want to spend a lot of money um, I think this might be one uh, to give a shot to because it really is 
It's just a, it's a nice tactile. It's, it's not clacky. It's not too loud. It's got that nice marble glass sound and it's fun. <laughs> That's kind of why I, I prefer tactiles. I mean, That's what my wife says. Oh, it's the fun switch because she, the way she describes it, it pushes back at you. So, um, that's how she describes the actuation, and I, I tend to agree with her. But if you're married, you know how that goes. You, you, you mostly tend to agree with your wife, or at least you should be. Um, makes life much easier. Happy wife, happy life. Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick... Uh, um, I wanted to come back to the Switch and do a quick review, as well as do a proper sound test in a full keyboard. Um I really like this switch. I, I probably am going to order a couple of batches of these. Uh, I actually like the color as well, um, even though the clear or the, the the top polycarbonate does have a bit of a purple sheen to it. It does not seem to affect the lights. White lights still look white, uh, and it seems to be because it more clear through that SMD window. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys with a sound test. These are stock, I haven't lubed them. They do come factory pre-lubed, but just barely, but there's no there's no need for anything more because they, they exhibit absolutely zero ping. Um, whether it be spring ping or leaf ping, they just sound nice. And I like that the fact that they're four leg um, switches instead of wing latch. Yeah, this is a just a, a fun tactile. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you with a sound test of the CIY Asura on this Mod 007 with the Flex Cut PCB and Cherry Nautilus Double Shot ABS key cams. I do hope that you enjoy the sound test. And if you have any questions about these switches or about any other product that I take a look at, feel free to leave me a comment below. I'm always available, and I do my best to answer um as many questions as possible. I try to get to all of them. But so if you have any questions, shoot them down below or feel free to jump over on Budget Keebs. And um, I'm all pretty much always online, either on Reddit or on our Discord server, Discord discord.budgetkeebs.com. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoy the sound test and I'd love to hear your opinions. Uh, let's start a conversation. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.